Hello and welcome. Um, we are here with the chair of the religion department, Maureen O'Connell. Ms. Professor O'Connell, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, be interviewed. Um, well, let's start with your background. Um, I understand you came here around the same time as me last year. So, That's um, right. Um, just tell us, how's your experience at LaSalle been so far? Sure. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's been pretty good so far. I kind of consider myself a bit of a sophomore. Last year was my freshman year. I was kind of getting the lay of the land, but this year I feel like I'm a little bit more acclimated to the community. And um, my sense is that this is a really um, a tight community here at LaSalle. It seems like the faculty and the staff know each other really well and really connect with one another and enjoy spending time with each other and working with each other. And um, it also seems like the faculty and the staff take a real interest in, in students and really want to get to know who students are and help students figure out what they're passionate about and share our own passions to, you know, hopefully um, help students kind of get in touch with what it is that they think they want to be doing with this life. So it's been really great. Um, I understand you went to Fordham University um, in, up in New York. Uh, what was that experience like? from there to compare, compare to little sounds. Yeah, yeah, so I um, actually went as an undergraduate student to St. Joe's University here, and then I worked after, and then I, after that I went to graduate school at Boston College, and then I worked at Fordham before coming to LaSalle, and I was in New York City for eight years before coming here. And so it's True really- Church scholar? Yes, <laughs> yes, but now very happy to be a Christian brother, you know, member of the Christian brother, uh, you know, endeavor. Um, well, I mean, I think there are many, there, there are some things that are different, and certainly being in New York City was quite an experience. And growing up in Philadelphia, New York was always kind of a big city, and it is a really big city and very fast paced. And it's really kind of hard to build relationships in New York City because of that fast pace, and there's just so many people and so many people moving in and out of the city. So I'm really happy to be back in Philadelphia because I feel like Philadelphia is really about neighborhoods, and I feel that um, LaSalle is a university community that takes the idea of neighborhood really seriously. And so um, that's one thing that I, I've noticed. And I think the other thing, too, um, that's a bit different is that, you know, um, our student body is a really is a really diverse group of people and that makes the classroom a really fun place to be because there's just lots of different people and that was even in New York City where there are a lot of different kinds of people um, I didn't experience the same diversity in the classroom as I experience here at LaSalle so that's been really great. That's great. Uh, what were some of the challenges uh, when you when you first came to LaSalle but not just like the like religion department wise mm. but has some of the have you uh, achieve, mm. succeed in those challenges? Is that still ongoing? Yeah, good question. Um, I think because I'm only just beginning my second year, some of the some of the challenges I think I'm still I'm still in the midst of. And I think one of the biggest is just sort of getting to know a, a new community and getting to know a new group of people. And you know, I would imagine as many of our students experience when they start here at LaSalle, whether as freshmen or as transfer students, you leave a community of people where you're, you're known and people know who you are and people know what you can contribute and you have a really good sense of connection and friends and, and support and you come to some new place and everyone is new to you and you're new to everyone else. And so um, I feel like uh, because it's been, this is such a welcoming community and um, a community that really invites people to jump in and bring whatever gifts and passions they have to the table. I feel that I've been invited to do that. And in, you know, in a short amount of time, I've gotten to know a lot of different people and I feel like I'm involved in a lot of, a lot of different things. But it's been you know, a process of just getting to know, getting to know a, new, a new campus culture. Um. Well, we're almost out of time, but I just want to ask you one more question. I'm sure there's been a lot of excitement, you know, with the potential visit of Pope Francis, the yes. first Jesuit yes. uh, Pope in the yes. Catholic Church history. Yes. Um, and we're about less than a year away from mm -hmm. Philadelphia to be on the global stage. Mm -hmm. um, do you hope to meet the Pope? And uh, will you, what do you believe he'll bring when he comes to Philadelphia next September. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it would be really fantastic to meet the Pope. Um, I feel like this, the our new Pope is kind of breathing some, some new life and excitement and enthusiasm back into the Catholic tradition. And um, so I'm, I'm eager to see um, the ways in which he can recognize some of the, the, um, the long-standing traditions in Catholicism in Philadelphia, that this is a very old, 
um, Catholic community here in the city, but then at the same time also acknowledge some of the new, the new groups and the new expressions of Catholicism, whether that be from immigrant groups to the city, whether that be from some of our young people, whether that be from some people who are thinking about our tradition and applying it in new ways to new contexts. And I get the sense that he's kind of able to both embrace the new and also um, really cherish the older parts of the tr our tradition. So it'll be interesting to see. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to welcome, welcome him to the neighborhood. That's what I've been saying to folks. It'll be good. It's not like he's coming to New York City. He's coming to the neighborhood, and I think that's going to be great. I would couldn't agree more. But that's all the time we have, ladies and gentlemen. Professor O'Connor, thank you so much. All right, Mickey, and, thank uh, you. And keep up the good work. All right, you thank too. You.